Science. It was once thought that the El Hierro giant lizard had gone the way of the dodo. The reptile, which can grow to more than half a meter in length, disappeared from the tiny Canary Island in the 1930s. It wasn't until a pair were discovered in the mid-1970s that the strange creature was able to begin clawing its way back from the edge of extinction. A breeding program was set up to breathe new life into the endangered species. And in 1995, this Lizard Conservation Center was inaugurated, home to a single male and two females. They were fed a diet of live insects, and a year later, three egg batches were hatched, resulting in 12 baby lizards. Now the compound houses around 360 lizards, most of which are rehomed into their natural environment. But preparing the creatures for life in the wild can be complicated. The lizards need to be prepared before they're released in the wilderness. They're fed with the same diet and other details so they can survive when we're not protecting them. We even train them to recognize a predator like a kestrel or a cat so they're prepared to defend themselves or run away. Feral cats are thought to be one of the biggest threats to the giant lizards. Some of the lizards are fitted with radio collars when they return to the wild, meaning conservationists can better monitor them. The reptiles have been successfully introduced in a handful of locations, but they're still regarded as a critically endangered species.